Welcome to Green Acres, the place to be for education, generative agriculture, and the fine arts. Let's see how the magic of Green Acres can transform you today. Hi, my name's Lori, and I'm an environment educator here at Green Acres Water Quality Education Center. And today, we're gonna learn about an amazing historic relic. Ah, and what is that historic relic? Well, these are things that were around 450 million years ago. That's a really long time ago. That was before the dinosaurs were here on Earth. So what is it that we're talking about today? You guessed it, that's fossils. And fossils are amazing, and you can find them here in our Cincinnati area. Scientists from around the world actually come to this area to look for fossils from the Ordovician time period. So let's see if we can find any of those. Oh, this is a great fossil. This is a bryozoan. And this fossil looks a little bit to me like a tree branch. And if you look closely, each of the little dots that are in this fossil represent one animal. And each of those animals work together uh, in their apartment complex to build this amazing structure that they all used and lived in. And these were filter feeders on the ocean floor. One way I remember the name of this fossil is by looking at the shape. So the shape of this fossil looks a lot like a Y. And the name is Bryozoan, which is spelled B-R-Y. So it's an easy way to remember the shape of this fossil. Now, it's fun to find individual fossils like this one, but also I like to look around and see if I can find a rock that has lots of fossils, lots of bryozoans in the same rock like this one. You can see it has many bryozoans. So I challenge you to look to see if you can find some fossils or a rock that has lots of fossils in it. Now remember, if you do pick up some rocks while you're down at the creek, it's important to remember to put those rocks back where you found them because they may be a habitat or a home for another creature. Let's explore and see if we can find some more fossils. Oh, this is an amazing Cincinnati fossil. This is a trilobite, and trilobite means three lobes. You can see those here for those three body parts. And trilobites had those hard outer exoskeletons, and a lot of times you find them rolled up into a little ball when you see them. These are, are super special Cincinnati fossils, and many times you'll find them in the gray shale rock near the creek bed. One last fossil I'd like to show you is this small fossil. This is a crinoid, and a crinoid is part of a bigger, a bigger creature, and this is actually an animal, not a plant, although it is called a sea lily. And this one, the little stalk, which is what we see here, was anchored to the ground. And at the top of this was a little frilly part that was used to collect food like a filter feeder. Now, one of my favorite things about these is that they have a really unique shape. And you can find them in stacks like this, or you can also find them in singular version like this. And I like to call these crinoid Cheerios because they look a little bit like a round circular Cheerio. Now, uh, this fossil was actually related to a sea star. And what's cool about this one is if you can find a crinoid that's on its side, you might be able to see the five points of the sea star that's on the inside of that Cheerio. Pretty cool. So while you're down at the creek, I challenge you to see if you can find a crinoid stack with multiple Cheerios, or see if you can find one tiny Cheerio. We call these micro fossils. Thank you for joining us here at Green Acres as we explored our fossils of the Ordovician time period. And I encourage you to keep exploring and looking for fossils and rocks in your area. If you find any cool fossils, please send us some pictures, or if you have any questions regarding the fossils you find, I'd love to see them and love to help. Please send those our way. Thanks again for joining us here at Green Acres, the place to be.